Hey hello, this video will be slightly shorter than the usual 20 to 30 minutes, but I thought it's important to also answer the smaller questions, they are the base to actually understand the more complex stuff. And in the next video we of course gonna look again into, into the usual suspects. This question came from a person who watched my one of my CFD analysis videos and the question was how can we rotate individual buildings within one BRAP container. You can, of course, rotate whatever is in that B, BRAP container. Um, you just need to provide an, an, an axis and then the whole thing rotates around one axis. But the question is about how can we rotate them individually so they all have their individual rotation point. Before we start, a quick member shout out, Raffaella Montelli. I really appreciate that you joined and support my channel. Absolute uh, amazing. Rafaela has uh, some questions about CFD analysis as well. And uh, we, are, we are in contact via email and, and discuss different uh, solutions for her specific problem. So Rafaela, again, thank you very much. I think you're almost there. You, you, you're very close. You're very close to understand what's going on. It's not easy and it's not that simple. I understand. And it took me also quite a long time to really get the hang of it. Keep asking and uh, we'll get there. Now to the question. And it's really simple. Um, you will see, you will just, you're gonna, you know, clap your hand on your forehead because it's just so simple. But of course, if you don't know, then it's not simple. Let's assume we have some objects somewhere. Let's say we have three objects. Remember the order. This was the first, one, second, third. Probably doesn't matter that much, but it matters when we add them to the list. Because what these containers are in Grasshopper, uh, they are nothing more than lists of objects. Let's have it like that. So if we want to rotate these boxes, in that case, um, we could use the box as a container, the box container, because these are just boxes. But BRAP is just more universal, I would say. So we use that here. And now if I add everything, now everything is in here. It's basically a list. The container lists these three objects. Now if we want to rotate these, there are different, there are different um, options here. But let's use this one, rotate an object in a plane. A plane is um, is a location and an orientation. We want to rotate the geometry. Let's put the geometry here. Now it's already re rotated somehow. This is the angle. The angle is in radians, but we can change it very simply now. I actually didn't know. <laughs> it's um, I always used the formula. Uh, I used an equation to change it to degree. But you can go here and uh, just say degrees. It's just so good. And then we need to a rotation plane. What that is, is really um, the orientation and the center of rotation. If there's no, if you don't provide a specific location, then it's here at the origin of the, of the file, meaning that zero, zero, zero coordinates. But we can also use a, a location for that rotation. So let's use this here and we can use a point a point represents a plane with the orientation upwards. So if it's not uh, specified, oh, we need to also apply a point, of course. So um, get one point. Now we have here our point and that represents a plane. And it somehow already rotates here a bit. There's a, there's a default value in here. And we could go now here and say 360. And now when we rotate, then we rotate that around this point. So everything rotates around that point. And if we move the point, then also the, the point of rotation changes. You see that? Now what if I want to individually rotate these? Let's ask a different question. What if I add a different point, a second point? Because I can store multiple points in here, not just one. So I can take one point, another point, and now if I set multiple points here. Ah, no, this was not good. Multiple points. Now I have two points in here. And now this rotates much. It's rotates really strange. Now 
what happens is that because we have three objects and two uh, rotation planes, what, what happens is that I have two reference points. These are my rotation planes. The first object rotates around the first point, which is uh, probably this one, this small one. It depends always on the order here. The second rotates around the second point. So the first object rotates around the first reference point. The second object also rotates, rotates about the second reference point. And the third, now the third cannot find a, a third reference point, so that's why it's rotating also around the second reference point. That's what happens. So if I have three points, now they all choose their own reference point because it's a list. The reference, the, the first box rotates around the first reference point. The second around the the second around the second reference point, and so on. I could allocate this here in the middle, or now you see this this first building rotates around itself around the center of the building of the box and now I just need to allocate these boxes I make it uh, quick and uh, dirty here it's not exact but you get what I'm what I'm trying to say tell you now they all rotate it's just important that the list that the list um, is fits to that, that the list is in the same order. That's the the only that's the crucial part of it. Instead of like producing your own points, you, you could also uh, generate points from your objects. So you could, for example, go here on a volume. Ah, uh, sorry, go here into surface and then deconstruct the box for example or I think even with volume might work quite well so you can actually get um, get the point in the middle of the of the, of the object and now I could use these points to rotate and it, it's similar it's the same effect and much faster I don't need to provide my own um, rotation planes of course you can then turn this off now, if the question is different and you want to actually control each of them, the same, so if I want to now control the angle for each of them, again, it's a list. Think of lists. We have a list of objects. We have a list of uh, points. These are the reference points. We could also have a list of the angle. So I could have three different angles and they correlate with the different objects. So now I could rotate this one separately, this one separately, and this one separately. And they are all they all come from that B wrap, but now they're in here. This is basically the new container. This is the new B wrap container. And then I could have um, if you want you can then plug whatever you need here. Yeah, I hope this is uh, more clear and let's see you in the next video.